everybody, this is John. I'm in San Diego at a spot called Sunset Cliffs. Um, I was here about a week ago actually. Um, a lens of mine is broken and to get it repaired, it's a Sigma lens and there's a Sigma repair center in San Diego. So I thought, oh, I'll just go for the drive. And um, as I dropped it off, I was looking for a place that if I had time to do some photography and someone recommended Sunset Cliffs. So I came and checked it out. It's a really cool area, um, but it was sundown and it was getting late, so I didn't have a whole lot, lot of time to uh, do photography. So I thought, well, when the lens is ready to come pick up, I'll come early and, and here I am. So um, there's this cool little art, natural archway um, that I wanted to photograph. It's funny because this place is called Sunset Cliffs and I'm here at sunrise. But there's this cool, like just soft light that, um, that I really like. So now I'm just shooting at f13 uh, to get it like a two second exposure. So I have my remote. What do you think? So before I go to another spot, I want to try using a filter. It's a split ND filter. Normally I use this for uh, you know sunsets at the beach or some places where the sky is super bright and the ground is you know darker so to create create a balance in camera it's easy with Photoshop you can take multiple exposures and put them together but I try to put it in uh, do it in camera in one shot so with these cliffs right here normally I would just I just shot it without a filter but I want to try it to balance out the water. The exposure time is the same, so I just take a shot. What do you think? So I moved down to a lower spot, um, get a cool view of these caves. Um, there's actually a better view down lower where I am, but there's these sneaker waves that keep coming up every once in a while. And um, I've been prone to forget that there's waves and even at low tide and I get caught and it, it ruins my cameras. So I'm playing it safe today, staying up here where I won't get splashed. Cool story, Hansel. I'm switching to my 70 to 200. So I zoomed in on one of the edges of the caves. Um, the waves crash on it, it looks really cool. So I'm just gonna time it to when you know the waves hit it. That's always a decision. Do I do like a slower shutter speed to get that smooth effect, or do I do a faster shutter speed to get that frozen power? And I wanna show the power. because I just like the way it looks to my eye as I see it now. So, so where I'm focused on, I want to capture the power of the waves hitting the rocks. 
So I'm shooting in the shade. So normally I would shoot with the ISO 100 just to keep, you know, low grain and all that kind of stuff, low noise. Um, but since I'm shooting in the shade, I want a faster shutter speed. I increased my ISO to 400. Um, so I want to keep my aperture at f5. Why I don't know. I just picked f5. So I'm just waiting for a nice wave to hit it. And I've got a time. I'm timing it with my remote, so I don't really have to touch the camera to get shake. So now I'm just waiting for the waves. And for this, I rec recommend keeping it on manual focus because as the waves crash, the water, you know, splashes. And if you have a active tracking, you know, autofocus like this, when you hit the trigger, the autofocus will, you know, hit whatever's in that, in your box. So turning off, it'll, it could come up closer to where you are or farther, or it could be hunting and you can miss the photo. So I recommend uh, just having a manual focus use a trigger and you don't have to worry about that so normally when i shoot waves or you know surfing or something like that there's a burst mode you can use you know you just hold the the button down it triggers the burst of photos but when you're using a remote you put it on timer and there's a remote setting there and it's kind of annoying because you can't do a burst because i wish you could just hold this down and get a burst with the remote but come on canon please What do you think? So I'm going to try one more shot. Um, I put my ND filter. Um, I actually recomposed a little bit just to get the center part of the two caves. Um, the way the water goes around both goes around it, it's pretty cool. So I'm just timing it. Um, I'm shooting at five seconds. Um, I'm timing it to where the waves are actually less. So I want to see more of the, the cave or the wall part or the rock. Because if there's too many waves hitting it, um, it actually covers it and I think it might block it too much. You know, I'll try both. One with hitting it and then one without a wave hitting it. Tell me what you think. So now it's getting low. And then I'll wait for a wave, and no. What do you think? Well, that's it for today. I'm actually gonna go get some breakfast and then go pick up my lens. Um, I hope you like this video. If you have any comments or questions, always feel free to comment down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, that's it for today. I'm actually, go get go. Yeah, yeah.